Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today, we're going to be reading another story from our Disney bedtime favorites, A Treasury of Tales. <clears throat> our story today is from Bambi called The Secret Adventure. Early one morning, Thumper the bunny hopped over to a thicket. Bambi, Bambi, wake up, he whispered to the sleepy fawn. Bambi stirred and gave a great big yawn. Mm, I'll be right there, he mumbled. Sleepily, he stood up, trembling a little in the morning chill. Thumper hopped off and motioned for Bambi to follow him. I have to tell my mother where we're going, Bambi said. Thumper stopped and gave Bambi a serious look. You can't do that, he said. It's a secret. Besides, she'd never let us go. The friends hopped off to find Flower. A few minutes later, Bambi and Thumper spotted their skunk friend. Good morning, Flower, they said. Thumper wants to go on a secret adventure, Bambi said. Do you want to come along? Oh, gosh, I do, Flower said shyly. But would you tell me what we're doing? Bambi looked at, Thun at Thumper eagerly. He wanted to know, too. Thumper puffed up his chest and said proudly, I want to show you what the beavers build on water. Bambi and Flower looked at each other. They didn't understand how anyone could build something on water, but it sure sounded exciting. The three friends didn't notice a red bird perched on a branch above them. The youngsters are heading out on an adventure all by themselves, the bird said to himself. I wonder if their mothers know. I'd better fly over and tell them. Maybe it would be good for them to explore the forest on their own, Bambi's mother said to the bird, whose name was Red. After all, there are three of them. Do you mind keeping an eye on them? Let me know if they go near the waterfall. Bambi wasn't hasn't tried swimming yet. Red agreed and then flew off to tell Thumper's mother. Meanwhile, Thumper and Flower were hard at work, trying to push Bambi through a tight thicket. He was stuck. Why are we going this way, Bambi asked. Why can't we go the regular way? Shh, Thumper whispered. We have to go this way. We are really close to the meadow where all the bunnies graze, including my mama he explained quietly. If she sees us, we won't be able to go on our secret adventure. She'll say I have to stay and look after my silly sisters. Suddenly some branches gave way and the three friends fell out onto the meadow. Bambi, Thumper, and Flower quickly ran back into the bushes. They peeked out to see if the bunnies had spotted them. No one is looking at us, Thumper said. My mama is talking with her friend, Red. I think we're safe. Come on, let's go. See, there they are peeking. And there's Thumper's mama talking to Red. Of course, he doesn't know what Red is telling his mama. <laughs> but they had been spotted. Thumper's sisters had seen everything. They wanted to know what their big brother was up to, so they followed him. And so did Red. The three friends continued walking through the woods. Soon they came to a stream. Thumper looked around. He was not sure where to go next. Suddenly a beaver with big teeth and a large flat tail walked up to them. Who are you? Bambi asked. My name is Slap, the beaver said. Where are you going? Thumper hopped forward. I want to show my friends what the beavers build on the river, he explained. We call it a dam, said Slap, and I can show you the way. <clears throat> a little while later, they arrived at the dam. Here we are, Slap said proudly. Everywhere along the river, the beavers were busy. Some were in the water pushing logs, while others were chopping down the trees along the riverbank with their strong teeth. He sure looks proud, doesn't he? Come out on.
on to the dam, Slap offered. Carefully, the three friends stepped out onto the logs. Thumper and Flower went first and Bambi followed, a bit unstable on his legs. Soon they were balancing on the logs among the working beavers. Hey, this is fun, Thumper shouted, thumping his foot in the excitement. Why do they call you Slap, Flower asked their new beaver friend shyly. I'll show you, Slap replied. He started slapping the logs with his flat tail. I'm the best slapper in the whole river, he explained. The entire dam shook so much when Slap was slapping that a log broke loose and started drifting down river. Help, help, Thumper, four little voices suddenly cried. It was Thumper's four younger sisters. They had gone out on the dam just as Slap had slapped the logs. Now the log they were sitting on was floating away. Oh no, my sisters, Thumper exclaimed. We have to rescue them. Hurry, they are headed toward the waterfall, Slap shouted. All the beavers jumped into the water and quickly swam toward the log. High above, Red saw the whole thing and swiftly flew off to tell Mama Bunny and Bambi's mother. Thumper's sisters held on to each other and tried to balance so they would not fall into the river, but they were getting close to the waterfall. A few minutes later, Slap and the two other beavers reached the runaway log. They slapped their tails with all their might, and slowly but surely, they got the log to the riverbank. Bambi stood in the water with Thumper perched on his head. One by one, Thumper pulled his sisters to safety. Once everyone was back on land, Thumper thanked the beavers for their bravery. You're welcome, said Slap. Can you find your way home from here? Nothing to it. Thumper said confidently, we live just around that thicket on end to the right. Thumper began to lead the others through the woods, but he couldn't seem to find the path home, so they kept walking and walking. After a while, it began to get dark in the forest. The trees blocked the light from the fading sun, and the branches swayed, casting scary shadows all around. Uh, Thumper... Bambi said, I think we might be lost. Oh, don't be silly, Thumper said, looking back at them. It's just like in the daytime, only darker. There's nothing to be afraid of here, especially when you're with the bravest rabbit in the forest, he bragged. Suddenly, Thumper hopped into something. Ah, he screamed. Luckily, it was not a monster that Thumper had run into. It was his own mother. For his mother, as well as Bambi's, had finally found them. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe, cried Bambi's mother as she led them into the meadow where there was more sunlight. Red was keeping an eye on you. He told us what happened. Until now, the friends had not noticed the bird who was flitting in the air above them. Thumper's mother tapped her foot angrily. Thumper, what does your father always tell you? Thumper looked down at the ground. He didn't like to be scolded. Never go off on your own without telling someone first, he replied. That's right, Thumper's mother said. You all must promise never to do that again. They all agreed, though Thumper didn't seem too happy about it. Good, said Bambi's mother. Now let's go home. The sun has started to set. Thumper does not look happy about it. Soon the group returned home. Good night, everyone, Flower said. Good night, Flower, the others called. Good night, Bambi, Thumper said. Good night, Thumper, Bambi replied. Then he whispered, thanks for taking me on a secret adventure. Thumper smiled. He and his family went to their burrow. Soon Thumper was fast asleep, dreaming of his next adventure. Not far away, Bambi's eyelids fluttered shut. It had been a long and exciting day, and he was tired. Moonlight beamed over the meadow, and everything in the forest was still and peaceful at last. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.